background of myself. Uh, I started off as a Buddhist. I've uh, been uh, practicing Buddhism for almost over 20 years since I was a little kid. It was something my mom encouraged on to me. Uh, and then later on, when I joined the Air Force, I decided there wasn't, that wasn't the right, it didn't feel right to me. That there was, there was just something missing in my life, but I didn't know what it was. Um, so, long story short on my history part, uh, last year I accepted Jesus Christ into my heart and decided to follow the words of Christ and the Lord. So, it's been uh, a struggle, I would have to say, even though I'm new to the faith and have been studying and learning uh, all that I can about the, through the Bible and the words of Pastor and all the churchmates in here have been encouraging me, talking to me, answering all my questions that I had. And uh, the struggle was I was recently separated from the Air Force in September of last year. So all my benefits, my pay is gone. <laughs> uh, with a wife and a newborn that I had, I had nowhere, I, I really, if I didn't find God, I would have had to say I would know where to turn. But because I found the Lord and had Christ in my heart, I knew exactly where to go. And that was to the Bible and to the words of everybody in here that's been preaching the word of the Lord and uh, I never gave up my faith I never gave up my trust in God um, of course like I said through all the words in the Bible and the encouragements of everybody in here uh, I kept faithful and uh, in the beginning of this month I was uh, finally got my started my new job at the next I work at the distribution center and uh, not even uh, just started AOB for the, I mean most of you guys probably know what AOB is, but those that don't, it's an orientation briefing that they give here on the base about the local surrounding area. And that night, I just decided to go online to see uh, maybe there's something better for me out there. I understand, you know, I do have a job and I thank the Lord that I have a job, but maybe there was something more, something better. And I believe that uh, the Holy Spirit talked to me at that time, and I found uh, a supervisor position for my job uh, and I decided you know what I'll just apply and leave it up to God it's in your hands and I prayed Lord this is up to you um, I understand it is your plans not mine but I would like to just apply and see if I can get this job two days later I got a call back from the manager uh, that he wanted me to interview for the position and I was shocked I was like wow okay sure I'll interview for the position and again, I prayed to the, to the Lord, and I said, Lord, again, if this is your will, let it be done. That Use me if this is what it is for me to get this position. So I found out that uh, when I interviewed for the job, I was the first one they called into the office. And uh, they interviewed six other candidates for this position. So then uh, as soon as I finished AOB, and it was that, that weekend, um, and I started uh, my first four days as an associate and then the following long weekend I come back to start uh, my uh, orientation for the next when they pulled me aside and said congratulations we selected you as a supervisor yeah. so there is no way I, I truly believe there is no way this could have been the works of any human being there's no way that you could have I could have done anything to impress or encourage or change the hearts of those people that selected me for this position. But I truly believe this is the work of God. It, there's no other explanation for it. And uh, just started my supervisory position last week, so I'm in training right now to to learn all the ins and outs of the distribution center, and then uh, be moving on to the night shift afterwards. Um, and I just want to close with, again, saying thank you to the Lord for everything he's given me. Thank you for, to, to God for never uh, giving me doubt, never giving me a fear that, this, that things will, will not come to pass. And 